Office managers stole $8.5 million and splurged on shopping sprees, plastic surgery, Fed say. I find it fascinating how these people steal this money and then the very first thing they do is go buy tangible goods or services where you can tell they came into a very large sum of money very recently. Like you were only ugly when you went out on vacation. Then you let them play in your face. You come back looking like a baboon or you left on a Friday. You come back on Monday with a get. Like nobody's supposed to recognize that. A woman accused of embezzling more than $8.5 million from her employer to bankroll her lavish lifestyle is headed to prison. Federal officials say the 60-year-old from St. Petersburg, Florida, was given a six-year sentence Monday, April 8th, after pleading guilty to wire fraud late last year. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Georgia said in a news release, McClatchy News reached out to her attorney for a comment April 10th and was awaiting a response while working as the office manager manager and executive assistant for a yard management services company in Alpharetta, Georgia. The woman used company credit cards for family trips overseas, plastic surgery, and other exorbitant purchases. Prosecutors said a plastic surgery, a modest collection of very high-end handbags, a family trip overseas. Any one of these things would have flew under the radar. After all, it only looks like you're trying to enjoy what life has to offer, that you like fine things. But no, it works one time, you get greedy. Now you want to dip everything in gold oh god here comes the feds her spending spree included a resort wedding for a daughter that cost upwards of one hundred seventy two thousand dollars and spending more than six hundred thousand dollars on designer handbags see i said it was a modest collection of high-end handbags i was being modest when i said it was modest and other items at Saks fifth avenue according to the u.s attorney's office she also spent over two hundred thirty eight thousand dollars on tickets to sporting events including the kentucky derby the the Masters and the Stanley Cup Finals. According to the release, investigators said from 2015 to 2025 years is not a long time to spend all that money. The woman charged the purchases to her employer's credit card and made them refund her personal credit card for the purchases she made. I can only imagine how many employees were low-key frustrated looking at her go on all these trips, walk in the door with all these handbags and asking themselves around the water cooler, when are they going to sit me? down and talk about a raise when are they going to sit me down and talk about compensating me a little bit more she's living a dream out here she worked in a position of trust for a company that expected her to honor that trust carrie farley special agent in charge of fbi atlanta said in the release absolute power corrupts absolutely instead she chose to abuse it and her personal greed not only hurt the company but everyone who worked for them i know i know people were saying where the hell are the raises the woman coded and approved the purchases sometimes passing them off as as legitimate expenses such as newspaper ads according to prosecutors she further hid her scheme by spreading the charges across different job sites authorities said her six-year sentence will be followed by three years of supervised release prosecutors said she was also ordered to pay over 8.6 million dollars in restitution every cloud has a silver lining because at 60 years old waiting for her to pay you all 8.6 million dollars of that money is probably never gonna happen jokes on you